Hello everybody, this is Dan, AK Entertainment WF, AK Page Wizard, AK Blah. Anyways, I felt like making a quick little video response to a fellow named Ali RX87. I it might I think it's Ali or it might be Ally, depending on how it's pronounced, or Ali. So anyways, I just wanted to respond specifically to your Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Genesis review. Now I'm just going to be honest with you, come off very condescending about the game when you don't actually understand the conceptual nature of a 3D game. Now, when I say this, th what you do is you state directly that this is not a 3D game. Instead, you state that it does not use 3D graphics. Now, what, when you say a 3D in terms of a game, it can mean multiple different things. Now, the, the thing when they develop Sonic 3D Blast is they're developing an isometric game and as you mentioned it's an isometric game but the thing is an isometric game if you don't know is actually a variation of a 3D game now it does not use polyhedra now if you're not familiar with that term the idea of a polyhedra is that you have a bunch of vertices and you connect them with edges to form faces and that's how you can form three-dimensional objects in the three space now the idea with Sonic 3D Blast on the other hand is what they did is they developed it with using just straight graphics, two-dimensional graphics, and they would what what you would call faking it is actually they're creating a pseudo depth using the Z axis. Now, that's how they were able to make it so it looks like you can jump up, move around on the surface, and it, it's still it is 3D in the same respect. It's moving in the third dimension. It's just it's not using three-dimensional graphics. So when you say it's not a 3D game, you're actually not being correct when you're dealing with 3D graphics. Because it doesn't have to actually be a three-dimensional plane with polyhedra in it. It could just be straight sprites if you wanted to in a three-space that is coded in as a three-space. So just I just wanted to let you know that. Also, I find your complaints about control being rather kind of... It seems a little bit funny, the, the way you describe it. Um, like, I play the game, it's actually, I have it for my Sega Genesis, in fact, if I wanted that, I could go get it for you if you wanted, just to demonstrate, because you seem to be very condescending to people that offer critiques towards your review, when you complain about the controls for like a solid minute, and you swear every like five seconds, some at some moments of the actual review. Now, that was definitely not necessary, you could have easily just said, I personally did not find those controls very good. Now, you didn't have to say, the controls are bad, that's a very subjective thing to say. Now, if you take that one level across and you say, well, in my opinion, the controls don't really work that well, well, maybe you should play some more isometric games. You'll see that it's actually not too terribly bad. And I don't think you necessarily got the idea of what, what Sonic 3D Blast is actually about. Now, they designed it using the Flicky's Island kind of idea where you have Flickies in it. The idea is that since the screen is so limited, uh, it, you can't make him Sonic run too fast, or else you'll want, the screen itself is limited in its view. Now, unlike the two-dimensional games, you can actually, if you take the screen on a Sonic 3D Blast, and you project it onto a two-dimensional plane, now, if you're not understanding the geometry involved, what's going on is I'm cutting the plane in half. Now, when I say, when I'm cutting the plane in half, what's really going on is I'm taking it, I'm changing the camera from the top along an angle and I'm moving it this way. Now, what happens is you'll find out the view size is actually a quarter of the space that it typically would have for a traditional Sonic game. Now, with that being said, uh, Sonic can't necessarily go the same kind of speeds as you typically have unless you had a larger screen. In fact, there are variations of this game. In fact, you'll see there's actually an arcade game out there. It wasn't released here in the United States like in North America. But uh, the idea was that they made the screen bigger and that allowed for motion in the faster along this isometric design. It had Mighty the Armadillo in it and it saw the Hedgehog. But it is really neat to look at the footage of it. Uh, but uh, that's just my education for you. I'm a computer scientist and I also make video games. So I just thought I would let you know. Just just if you want to review more, just I recommend maybe polishing up your technique. You just steal your eye. It sounds almost like you're trying to imitate the angry video game nerd. And he has his own style. You should make your own style. Uh, 
it does it sounds like it's totally forced and that's just my opinion of course but I've watched a lot of reviews and in fact I've made a couple myself they're not too terribly great but I know that they're not too terribly great some people say they're pretty good but that's just most about subjective content but I just want to point out these scientific ideas to you so you don't make the same mistake twice now when I say this I'm not saying that Sonic 3D Blast is a like an awesome awesome game but it's definitely not an awful game it's just, if you're expecting something like Sonic 3, you're not going to get that in Sonic 3D Blast. If you like fetch quests, you're going to like Sonic 3D Blast, because the idea is that you're collecting flickies, and that causes Sonic to need to make more decisions. When we have this, these flickies allow for more strategy in the levels, and, and when we have this, and by the way, I'm not going to cut this in any way, shape, or form. I just want to make this as a quick response. Just because I, tr I was just walk going around on YouTube and I just spotted your review and I just thought it's just not necessarily too correct in terms of the scientific concepts of graphics. At least the game itself. The game itself is a 3D game. It's just not a one that uses polyhedra to draw on projected onto a plane. Now in this case, what's happening is they're drawing the sprites, but it does use three-dimensional mathematics underneath the hood. So that makes it a 3D game. So anyways, hopefully that'll hopefully educate you, just in case if you don't want to like spread lies to people when you're trying to form a proper opinion. You don't have to do it by being very condescending. You can easily just say, well, in my opinion, it's this, this, and this. Now, Definitely Sonic 3D Blast, in my opinion, is not like, it's a terrible game, in retrospect. Well, maybe for you, that's the case. For me, it's actually a pretty good experience. I actually really like Sonic 3D Blast, for example. It was off, was, I thought it was a really nice original design. The stages are rather creative. My only complaint was, like, Rusty Ruin. I personally did not like that stage a whole lot. Uh, but the music was great, uh, depending on whichever version you had, the Saturn one or the Genesis one. But overall, it all comes down to opinion. My opinion's worth only about as much as anybody else's opinion. But the scientific concepts, like three dimensions, uh, that stuff you can't debate in terms of an opinion. It's really just, it's this or that, there's no luck. So anyways, hopefully that helped you out, Ally RX 87 uh, Have yourself a beautiful day.